Welcome to the Dawn of Discovery Harbor System tutorial. In this last tutorial, we will have a closer look at the option to build your very own individual harbors in order to optimize and expand your trade routes. But what makes it different from 1701 AD? Is it comparable to the palace in the prequel? We asked Dirk Riegert. The ship is the most important unit in the Anno game, so uh, this time we introduced the harbor system to the game um, to make a connection between the settlement of the player and the ships. So with the harbor system, the player can build uh, large uh, storage houses, he can build uh, defense towers, and he can build docks for his ships, for the trading routes. Um, so there's a lot of stuff to do for the player and he can in individualize his harbor to his needs and built uh, really decent, very nice harbor systems with the new Anno game. Now we really want to get down to business. How could we make our harbor more unique? Is that possible at all? Christopher Schmitz explains which tactical possibilities you have with your harbor and how to make it more individual. In uh, Anno 1404 we have a very flexible, customizable harbor system and that makes a lot of purpose for the player because uh, harbors are very important for the game and each island is looking different, each player is playing differently. So if you want to make combat you will uh, create a different harbor than if you want to be a trade man with a lot of uh, need for warehouses and storage for example. And also in the end you have a very unique island. Hopefully we were able to cut the weight short and give you some informative and exciting insights. Enjoy playing.